Now let's see if we can actually run it back. Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku versus Angelic Ultra Instinct Moro. And the reason why this, I think to me, is going to be a just mind-boggling episode whenever Toei Animation decides to adapt Toyotaro's manga in the form of an animation is because when Moro first got the powers of Ultra Instinct and through Whis's own admission when he said, hey, the power of an angel is coursing through his body, everybody lost their shit. But at the same time, we all know that MUI Goku was able to sustain himself even more, and he bitched out Moro, but right now, I want to see if I can do that exact same thing. Unless, of course, Moro ends up beating me, which, you know, could be a hit or miss right now, but what I want to know from you guys is how exactly should they adapt this specific fight, because on the previous video that we've talked about this on, a lot of you guys seem to have either agreed or some of you guys said that it was kind of fine the way it was. I saw a few people say that it didn't need to be as extended as the Omen fight with Moro and Goku was, and I totally disagree. Let me see if I can get the better of him. I don't know. Look at that aura, though. For this ISO, let me see if I can land my Kamehameha right now. Oh, are you dead? Oh, wait. Oh, he moved out of the way. That's not good. So, I think that for the manga adaptation, for this to be, like, just a mind-boggling fight, what they need to do is, in my opinion, expand that. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Right now, for this fight, because a lot of you guys were like, yo, do a rematch. All right, well, I'm gonna do a rematch with Goku and see how far we can actually go here, because I think that when we actually see this go down, and hopefully it's animated by the right people and it doesn't look like absolute dog shit, whenever this ends up being a thing, it's going to be beautiful. I'm telling you that right now, especially when Goku goes on to master the form, and even prior when he uses the omen state to fight him with, it's going to be amazing. But let's just see, because I need to finish this dude. Let me see if I can go in ahead, and I, I can't seem to break through his defenses, and not for nothing, Moro was the type of villain that I really gravitated towards because he was a legitimate villain. He was a planet-consuming, flesh-destroying villain, and that's what Dragon Ball, I think, needs. And this right here, this right here, is something that I definitely want to see happen in the Dragon Ball Super anime whenever they animate the Moro arc, which on my main channel, we're going to be covering left and right on for Unreal and Gaming, right? So let me see if we can endure and survive, because if we can't, then that's going to be a problem. But if we can, then that's going to be a good thing, at least for us, because I want to see this is actually I'm losing this fight. So I don't want to lose this because wouldn't that be something if Goku lost? to Angelic Moro in the manga, that would have been insane. I still firmly believe that the gigantic key hologram that Goku created, the Susano, should have been Vegeta. I think that Vegeta should have been the one to kind of use the Yardrat's techniques to kind of hold Moro in place for Goku to kind of, you know, go on and just, you know, just finish off once and for all by smashing into his crystal. But they let it be Goku and that was all she wrote, right? So let me see if we can put an end to this planet-consuming, flesh-sucking, bloodthirsty monster and if we can't that's gonna be really bad but let's just see i kind of have faith right now let me see if i can actually yeah i love this i love this move so much that i really want to see it go down in the anime whenever it happens because it's really going to show i think to me goku's like nature and speed and just just as he had done with jiren just showcasing like the difference between mastered ultra instinct and ultra instinct omen and yes he did master it go read the manga you know what i mean some people are just so stupid they just skip over and they're so they're super selective in terms of like paying attention you know what i mean am i gonna lose oh no oh my wow boys moro beat goku again inconceivable dude Man, listen guys, if you guys want to see a rematch, give this video a like, smash that subscribe button if you guys are new. Thank you so much for being here. That was, oh man, that was surprising.